Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. <laughs> All right, we're live out here once again at Mayfest, and uh, you know, I got more people want to be on TV, so I'm just feeling very generous tonight. But I have to say this one, that you'll, real quick, introduce yourselves. I'm Stella. I'm Naomi. I'm Tuli. Okay, so what is this? It's like a pineapple smoothie thing. And it looks amazing. I, even a producer back at the station was like, bring back one of these things. And and uh, are they expensive or not? They were like $8. Oh, okay. Well, hey, it is payday, I think. So uh, you all go enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the uh, the pineapple uh, drinks that they got going on here. That That's that's really cool. And plus, they've got all the art. I'm just more interested in the food and the drinks as well. But that's just me. As we take a look at dual Doppler right now, all is quiet here in northeast Oklahoma. You have to head to far southeastern parts of the state, northwest Arkansas, to find any rain or thunderstorms in the area. As we zoom in, you can see those thunderstorms in northwest Arkansas. Those are moving away from the area, so they are moving on out. As we take a look outside right now, Dave's Claremont Weather Camera Network. All is quiet and clear here in northeast Oklahoma. It's beautiful out here right now. So nice outdoors just to be. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you, thank you. As we look at your future track, uh, so people are so friendly out here, I love it. Uh, uh, to, well, here, if I can get down and look at this map, here we go, Monday, or Saturday morning, a few showers possible tomorrow morning, okay? So those move on out as we look towards Saturday afternoon, just a slight chance rain in the morning, by afternoon, just breezy day, warm day, temperatures lower 80s. And then as we head into our late Saturday night, here comes a cold front, and that cold front's gonna slide through, and it could bring a few thunderstorms area. We're gonna be watching it. Clint and Annie are gonna be uh, watching that early Sunday morning for you, and Brandon as well, late Saturday night, uh, with that front sliding through the area. A few thunderstorms could redevelop Sunday mid-morning, but by Sunday afternoon, it turns cooler, dry, with pleasant conditions, but cooler conditions for Mother's Day. So 83 for our Saturday windy conditions, and then 70 degrees on Mother's Day with temperatures falling throughout the day, so it will be much cooler in the afternoon. And then look at the cool weather early next week in the 60s for highs to kick off our week, lower 60s Monday, Tuesday. We do rebound by the end of the week as those temperatures warm back up. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 62 degrees, an isolated shower storm possible in the metro. Not really too excited about it, but there's that chance. By afternoon, warm, breezy conditions, highs in the lower 80s with a beautiful afternoon expected, but a breezy afternoon with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. All right, the 10 day cooler on Sunday for Mother's Day. The rain should be very early in the morning. 60s for highs for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before we start to see a big rebound with temperatures by the end of next week. You doing all right? Good, good. All right, so real quick, Art, hey, how's it going? So we got the art going on back here. Wonderful place to be out here at Mayfest, but much more for you. We'll be right back after this.